Hey, my name is Kevin Smith. I'm originally from Dothan, Alabama. Uh, we purchased El Palacio of Mexican Food 12 years ago. It's an established business that's been in operation for 54 years. I got involved in this business uh, from a friend. We had always discussed doing a business venture together. 12 years ago, I uh, called on Kevin, uh, told him that uh, El Palacio was up for sale. Me and him have been eating here for many, many years prior to buying this place. And um, when it came up uh, available to sell, I uh, sat down with him, um, pitched the idea to him, and uh, he took it. <laughs> he partnered up with me, and uh, it's been a ride ever since. Well, me and Ben, we grew up loving and eating at El Palacio. It's been a staple in this community for over 50 years. Every Friday night when me and Kevin would bring our wives uh, here to eat uh, and sit over there by the glass where we would always sit, uh, chicken nachos toasted with uh, spicy cheese was always my go-to. The Mexican steak fingers, it's been a staple for 50 years. It came about as a local twist on a, on a classic favorite, which is uh, country fried steak. Um, so we have our own spices and seasonings on that. The other thing is the salsa, sombrero salsa. It's, uh, it was created through El Palacio. It's been over 50 years. We now bottle it and package it through Benny Keith. When we uh, closed down um, March 19th of uh, 2020, um, me and Kevin had to let go 35 employees that day and um, we turned the lights off and me and Kevin went in that office and we sat down and had to completely recreate our business model moving forward um, to figure out what we were going to do to survive. Um, conference in um, Chris Rhodes with Ben and Keith asking their advice and their direction um, to see what we needed to do because we did not know how long we were going to be closed. Ben and Keith launched the Eat Local Eat Often campaign and um, we embraced that and the community embraced that. Um, our customers came and saw us and supported us, um, handling curbside and to go with a tent set outside in the courtyard for three months and they just kept coming, kept coming, kept coming and their response was, we're gonna make sure y'all make it and stay open. So, you know, the, it gives me goosebumps talking about it, but, you know, our customers cared that much about not only me and Kevin, you know, but uh, our families, they cared about our families, this business, our employees, you know, to keep us going for however long that it took. Um, and it's still not over. <laughs> uh, they still come to support us and make sure that we're gonna be okay. And they constantly ask, how are y'all doing? You know, y'all staying busy, you everybody doing all right, y'all doing okay, business doing well, you know, and fortunately I'm able to say yes, we are doing fine. Benny Keith was a, a huge um, asset to us um, with the Revention and Hunger Rush um, connection to the online ordering systems. All that was implemented and, and took place for, uh, post COVID. It was a big learning experience for him and to me both. Um, but I feel like me and Kevin have done extremely well the last 12 years to get the grasp uh, and to learn what we needed uh, to make this business uh, successful. And with the help of Ben and Keith's support, um, constant direction, advice, uh, counsel, um, you, you know, we are a partners with them. They're not just our, our food distributor, they are, uh, we consider them our partners you know, in this restaurant. We're in this together and uh, thankful for the campaigns um, like that that they come out with um, that uh, helps steer and encourage and um, counsel small businesses like us. Thousands of people have come through these doors and continue to come through these doors every week, every month. Um, and they all have stories, some of them new stories, some of them you know, uh, adding to the existing story, uh, and, it, and it's crazy that um, we have that restaurant. <laughs>